Hey guys, what's up? It's Rapid Science here, and today we are going to be doing the Pythagorean Theorem. This is indefinitely a uh, much different video form than what I normally do. I, as you can see here, I have I'm using markers as opposed to the standard whiteboard videos that I do. But this is all going to be part of our math series um, that I'm doing, and this is just to help people who need help with math or have any questions about math. You can always ask in the questions below. And also, I bet you guys will be happy because I'm uploading a new Fortnite video very shortly about tutorials and probably best landing spots based on statistics and probability. And also, this is 3D printed. So I have these few little things 3D printed that I made at a 3D printer, just like this cool little artifact here, the Empire State Building. And if anyone wants me to make them anything on a 3D printer, of course, I can make that for you. And I also have one of these uh, 3D printed cylinder with a bunch of uh, mathematical equations on it and i have a uh, much more but anyway let's get started so the pythagorean theorem is used to calculate the hypotenuse of a right triangle now assuming that you know the history of it, the pythagoras and whatnot uh this is a right triangle i'll draw a right a right triangle and sorry if, uh it's not exactly perfect i'm doing this freehand so it's a right triangle 90 degree angle right here now, in order to calculate the hypotenuse of this, we need to figure out how to do that. So, we'll just give these a side length of 3 and 4. This is a lot easier because you'll see in later on in the video why. So, first off, the Pythagorean Theorem equation goes a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right? So that's kind of like the base formula for the Pythagorean Theorem equation. Now, how does this actually work out? Like, what do these uh, letters and numbers mean? Because, obviously, this is very complicated. Um, no, not really. I'm just saying that. But um, let's plug these numbers in. So, to substitute A, we'll do A for 3. So, 3 squared plus, and then we'll substitute the B for 4. 4 squared. So, we're going to do 3 squared, which is 9. And 4 squared, which is 16. Now, basically, it's simple. I'll be doing this forever. 9 plus 16 is 25. Alright, and that's our number here, 25. And now we're going to want to find the square root of that. Okay, so what is the square root of 25, you ask? That is, well, let's see here, 5 times 5, oh, 25. And so the square root is 5. So the hypotenuse equals 5. Now let's just say that we had one that was we didn't we couldn't we didn't know how to find the square root of it. Well, I have this square root trick that I learned um, from a website a while back, and I will be happily share it with you guys. So um, let's just say we had a square root number of say eighty seven. Okay, so we'll do the square root. Okay, so eighty seven. And I have no idea what that is. Ugh, it's so hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to uh, use this trick. So the nearest square to that is 9. So we'll start off with a 9 here. All right. And that's 81. So the difference between 81 and 7 is 6. And then 9 doubled is 18. So once again, find the nearest square root, okay, which is 81. The difference between that nearest square root and the original square root, 6. And then this large number doubled, 18. 9 and 6 eighteenths. And what does 9 and 6 eighteenths, 9 and 6 eighteenths simplify to? Well, you can see here, using a little bit of math, divided by 6. Okay, it's 1 and that's 3. It's about 9 and a third. So we're going to have about 9 and a third. And I, I can't remember exactly, but I believe uh, when I did on the calculator, it equaled around... 9.333 something 7. So that's so it's, it's very close and actually it is almost accurate. Um, I think it was 9.3374, something like that. But this is not the most. I mean, you, you could get the exact answer, but let's just like if you're just trying to do some quick math in your head, very great trick, and I recommend that you use it. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video, which will probably be Fortnite or another whiteboard video. See you later. Bye!